Hi, Nancy. I just jumped on a minute early. Hey, Patricia. How are you today? That applies to both of you. I am enjoying the sunshine. I even got out a little bit today. Oh, Colorado. So how did you stumble upon our page, Patricia? Out of curiosity. We are here uh, in Pennsylvania. Uh, that's where I'm at. Small little town. Uh, it is windy and cold, but the sun is shining. And to be completely honest, I took a nap today. It was really kind of wonderful. I haven't done that in a while, but. We're going to do some Zentangles today. Oh, that's so cool. Well, it's so nice to have followers from a distance. I'm actually going to share this right now on my personal Facebook page. I'm going to have to get up for a second. I have my puppy coming upstairs. Sorry about that. Uh, my dog is 13. I, uh, I don't like him going upstairs by himself. We usually carry him up to bed at night. Hi, buddy. I even have a blanket on my floor so he can lay down up here. But he usually sleeps in bed with us. Um... <laughs> We're going to get started. Um, I'm going to jump in and do Zen Tangles again. I just wanted to take a break from the botanicals. Um, I think maybe I needed a little break from uh, all the work. So I figured I would share some more designs with you. You can see I was kind of working on one. Just started, um, started sketching it in. And um, let me find my, get my sketchbook out here. There we go. Okay, so let me drop my sketchbook here. Um, this is what we worked on last time, and then we want a little three-dimensional, just for a little fun. So we're going to pick up with three more designs today, and have a little relaxing time here, and... I feel all out of place today. One of those days. So where are you? Oh, bad weather. Oh, Pensacola, Florida. Okay. Oh, coming to Pensacola. Ooh. 
you know what? I don't really pay attention to the weather. Um, not gonna lie. I... Haven't, um, haven't had to drive. And so I don't really worry about it too much. As silly as that sounds. There we go. Trying to get a couple more followers. So I'm going to do just a quick review, guys. Uh, we can see some stuff I did a long time ago. There we go. Ah, okay, so send tangles, everyone. It's a uh, series of... Um, let me get my notes. I'm better with notes. So it's the art of drawing structured patterns to create beautiful artwork. Um, you know, and my, I chose this because it's supposed to be very therapeutic and relaxing. Um, you know, it's just the art of drawing designs using structured patterns or what we call zentangles. And we just try to let your imagination move with your hand and, um, have a little bit of fun you know, there are no mistakes. If you think you have one, you can work with it, keep on going. And in my case, sometimes I erase. It happens. So, um, we have our borders, and then we have strings. Now, our strings can um, be any form, shape, however you might like. I usually break mine up into four sections when I'm showing folks. Uh, different patterns. Uh, you can see down here I just did a circle and tried one of the patterns in it. Here are a few more. I'm just playing a little bit with design. And uh, a couple more patterns. I'm not going to show them all to you. I was just playing with layout. Trying to have a little bit of fun. Um, anyway, you can break your strings up in any way you might like. Uh, some can be a little more challenging than others. Okay. So these are the ones that we did last time. And I really like how that looks. It was nice to open up my sketchbook and see that again after a few days. So today, I practiced these earlier because it's been a while. So I'm going to draw my border. I'm going to do a couple small ones here today. No strings on this one. This one's called Finery. And it's very simple. So a nice thick line. Give it a little curve if you'd like. I'm going to do, I didn't give myself much of a curve there, now did I, everyone? Nancy, if you don't mind my asking, how did you hear about us? Just curious. I mean, that's really cool. You guys are pretty far away and, uh, and you're following me. Um, okay, so for the finery, once we have these thick lines drawn in, um, almost think like rope or an S shape. Um, so we're going to start and you can do these closer together or here I'll start in the middle. Closer together you can spread them out a little bit. Almost like an S shape. I'm going to put mine a little closer together or again you can spread them out farther apart. Oh, that's interesting. It's very cool. Well, what time is it in Colorado? It's four o'clock here in Pennsylvania. Um, anyway, you just keep going with that pattern. Hey, Kylie. And then we're going to skip a row and then go down. And... 
do this row. It just reminds me of a rope, that's all. Um, but it is kind of like a S shape, backwards S shape maybe. Oh, 2 p.m., okay. So it's only a two hour time difference. I wasn't sure what it was. I know um, I had a friend in California. It was, you know, California was three hours. So I wasn't sure where Colorado, I'd have to look at a map. Isn't that terrible? I can't picture it in my head, guys. <laughs> um, okay, so once we get those two rows done, uh, we are going to do the opposite rows. And with the opposite rows, um, we fill in the opposite way. So we kind of come down and then curve out. Again, keeping with that. The artist's way. Hmm. What's the book about? Um, the artist's way. That's funny. I just opened up a book I read um, years ago um, <laughs> called The Day Book, The Journey of an Artist. Um, I like to read for a few minutes at night, so I, I started that again. I, I was supposed to read it in college, and I don't think I gave it justice. <laughs> so I put it on my nightstand. Um you are my artist. Well, I'll tell you guys a little bit about my background while I'm sketching. Um, before I do that, just remember these are kind of opposite of the ones you did. And these aren't as nice. Um, my background, I went to Seton Hill University, which is a small Catholic liberal arts university. That's kind of cool. Very interesting, Patricia. Um, very neat. Very good thing to do um, during this pandemic here. Okay. Um, I was telling you guys a little bit about myself. Um, my degree is actually in sculpture. And I have a minor in 2D and... I'm like, oh, maybe a half a year, so 15 credits from having a, a degree in art history, too. Um, I just, I loved art history when I was there. I'm going to throw in another line here, guys. Yeah, I just loved art history when I was in school and really focused on that. And um we we'll try from the opposite way here. Oh, see, look, I'm talking and I'm not paying attention. I don't think that was right. No, it wasn't right. There we go. Um, anyway, I just loved art history, so I stuck with that and kind of could always kick myself for not going back and finishing that degree. But uh, I went for sculpture. You know, I didn't want to sit in front of a computer all day. I started out in graphic design. Um, you know, so fast forward, I graduated in 2006. Um, full 14 years, man. Uh, and that's pretty much what I'm doing these days, sitting in front of a computer. Can't say I'm a fan, but uh, I love what I do. Oh, uh, that's wonderful, you guys. You know, it's nice to have a little bit of creativity, and you don't have to. You know, I work with artists that are self-taught, and I just I think that's great. You know, they had enough discipline to um, teach themselves a certain discipline. Um, I'm going to show you another way to do uh, finery. I won't spend as much time with it. 
I'm doing a lot of talking today. Hmm. That is very cool, Patricia and Nancy. I love it. So I'm going to go do this. Real quick. But I'm going to spread them out a little bit. So you can see an alternative um, for this. Now i got to do my opposite here. Sometimes that's where my brain sticks. There we go. And I'm currently working on my master's in education and teaching at a local university, which I love. But uh, I chose Entangles for this online class because I wanted something for adults. And, you know, a lot of people are gearing towards uh, programs towards kids, which is wonderful. Um, I just wanted to focus on adults, too, because I think we all need to relax and unwind. So that's why I chose this. Uh, but I, as I mentioned before, I've taught this for high school students. And uh, they always really impress me with their designs. So now that we have our design again, again, you can see I spaced it out more. Um, what you can do, another alternative here, you can give yourself like a little triangle shape. Um, that one wasn't great. That one's better. <laughs> and then what you do on the opposite side is that one wasn't good either see all about practice and having fun there we go hey Deb how are you um, so this is just an alternative now if you want to add you know maybe some dots there Uh, and you could go in and you would bring your triangles in over here, I guess. That wasn't a very good triangle, everyone. Maybe you color them in. Um, you know, try black and white. Try black paper and a white charcoal pencil. Amazon has been my best friend and my husband. <laughs> <laughs> um, probably gets annoyed with all the packages coming, but, um, I just ordered another set of Micron pens, uh, but I did order a box of white charcoal pencils and have, have used those, um, just plan it out accordingly because it's taken longer than, shipping's taken a little longer than expected, but anyway, this is one way to, uh, do finery. We'll jump over to our next one. And I'm going to draw my border again. And this one is called Echoism. Uh, and you might see these repeated uh, in different books. Similar patterns. Maybe things are changed a little bit. Um, there's a lot of books out there. I, actually, I, my mom just showed me one that she got. And uh, it was really neat because it had like a... I don't want to say a dictionary, but that's the first word that comes to mind. Uh, a dictionary of, you know, tangles. And I believe they were in alphabetical order. So, like, that was, you know, kind of cool because you can use that as a reference. Um, mine are not in alphabetical order by any means, but I plan on using my sketchbook as a reference. So, Echoism is a fun one. I think it's real quick and easy. So, we're going to start out and do a loop. Come down and loop. Now I'm gonna try and get a little bit bigger with my loops here. I like this one. And I'll quit there. How you doing, Deb? Wonder if she's still there. Uh, one of my board members is on. Everybody, give a shout out to to Deb and thank her for all of her support. Uh, our next step 
I'll start here because it's a bigger space. So what you can do, because we have space, almost like a maze. I'm going to come up. Didn't quite have enough room there, but we'll make it work. Just have a little bit of fun with your pattern. <laughs> Deb is originally from the area. I believe she's Pittsburgh bound now. Hope you hope everyone's keeping safe and enjoying some kind of creative activity. You know, that one turned out a little different, and that's okay. Um, if you really wanted that nice square, like we could do this. Let's try that. There, that one turned out a little bit better. Maybe we'll do two here. So just have a little bit of fun. Um, play around, experiment. I'll do one more, and then I will jump on to our last one. That one didn't turn out so so wonderful. But maybe you just go in and do a little square maze there. And I don't know. Maybe we'll do another one there. Nope. You can hear my puppies. Okay, so that's um, echoism and then you can leave the loops um, empty or clear depending on how you're feeling today we'll say clear but um, you know don't forget you can experiment with colored pencil you can do crayons if you wanted if you had markers you could do markers um, I use pencil. Hey everyone, my mom's on. I'm gonna say hi to my mom. You're joining a little late today, Ma. <laughs> um, so our last design is flukes. Again, I, this is a pretty easy one. So a series of diagonal lines. <laughs> Hey mom, you're getting some shout outs here. Uh, my mom says she joins me so she can just listen to me. Uh, she is sewing masks. Um, so she listens to me while she sews. That's what she told me yesterday. So our next, now if you want, you could give these a little bit of a curve. They don't have to be perfectly straight. So I will, if you make them a little square, they're a little easier too easier to do but you know nothing's perfect hey Kashana I got some people popping on that I know thanks for joining so our last design for today is flukes and what you can do we'll do a couple here at a time I'll throw in a little line there to give myself a so what you do is give yourself a little square. And if you like, you can color it in. How you doing, Kashana? Nice to see ya. Oh, mom had to run an errand today. Okay, so our next step is then just giving yourself a nice little outline on that little box that you colored in. Very simple and easy to do. And there you have it everyone. That's our third tangle for today or Zen tangle. And um, I'd love to see what you're creating. If you'd like I can upload another image today for you all to try. We've been I don't have my book with me. Um, I've done a fox, a flower. I think I did a seahorse. 
Um, did I do the shell yet? I could always upload the shell. But <laughs> thanks, Kashana. There you go. So you just keep repeating this pattern and fill in your string. Oh, no problem. I'm happy to share what I'm doing. I'm actually doing uh, intro to drawing videos for St. Francis uh, and doing demos and teaching like beginner drawing. So that's been a good, good challenge. But I like this. <laughs> it's a little more freeing and I don't think have to think as much. Although I guess I should have planned out a better, maybe a lesson plan, but I don't know how you do a lesson plan with Zentangles. Other than sharing the patterns with you guys. Okay. So that's our third pattern for the day. Um, don't hesitate to get out your own tangle or design. Uh, these are six by six. It's typically what you work with. I don't think I have any finished ones up here with me. Um, I thought I was working on some. But here are some of the patterns that we've done in a nutshell. And now I'm translating onto a bigger a bigger tile with a micron pen. Um, not all sure what I'm going to do yet, but you know, if you don't have a micron pen, you can do pencil, colored pencil, and have a little bit of fun. So I'm going to work on this for a while. I will jump off. Uh, if you have any questions let me know but I think we'll be back on with entangles again tomorrow I need them in my life and you guys have a great day I say you guys I mean everyone have a great day and I will catch you all tomorrow at four o'clock and maybe we'll do some black paper and white charcoal pencil and show you what that looks like because I don't think we've really experimented with that yet so maybe I'll change up my plan a little bit for tomorrow so have a wonderful day everyone and I'll see you at four bye <laughs>